Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, you are instructed to do these four problems <coughs> that are on the board. Yes. You are instructed to do the funnel method, although many of you think that I'm an idiot, so you don't do it. I do it. Now let me tell you where I got this problem from. You can close your computers. You don't need them yet. Let me tell you where I got this problem from. This was from a test I've given in the past. And the test question, these are our answer choices, actually. And the test question says, which expression would give you an answer of 12? That's what the test question asked. We're going to go over all of them. But... My point in giving you this is these are not difficult things to do, but I'm going to pass back some papers where you had to do these types of things, and not all the grades were good, and it makes me sad. So we're going to go over this and make sure we understand how to do these, and you should probably check all of your answers because... We did the one with how long did he take to run a mile. And a lot of people missed that one. And when I pass it back, you'll be able to look at it. All right, so let's look at this one. Maddie C., what is my first step in this problem? 18 minus 9. 18 minus 9, which is what, Maddie? And I bring down everything I haven't used. Then I go back to Team Shake. And I ask Eva, what would my next step be? Four times 12. I've got no more grouping symbols. We don't do exponents. So now we move to multiplication division. And Eva, what is four times 12? Three. <laughs> What'd you say? Four times twelve. Forty-eight. Oh, I thought you said three. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> Forty-eight divided by three. Subtract nine. Oh, you don't have to put your hands up. I'm team shaking this bad boy. I paid a dollar ninety-nine for it. I want to make sure I get my money's worth. Maddie Ryback. What step do I do next? I have. Uh, you divide forty-eight by three. Awesome sauce. And Maddie, what is 48 divided by 3? 16. 16. And I do 16, subtract 9. And the person answering that is Leo. Uh, 16 minus 9 equals 7. 7. All right, let's work the next one. We are working from left to right because that's how I normally read. Joe, what is my first step in this problem? I have no grouping symbols, so now I'm multiplication division, which is the same step from left to right, so what do I do first? Divide. I do divide. Nine divided by three is what, Joe? Three. Then I bring down everything I haven't done yet. Thank you, Joe. And if I'm doing this wrong, please let me know because I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just doing what y'all say. Allie, what's my next step? Uh, 3 times 12. 3 times 12. Allie, what is 3 times 12? 36. 36. Divided by 18 minus 1. So we're just kind of doing the funnel here. Kind of doing the funnel here. Layla, what would be next? Um, 36 divided by 18. And what is 36 divided by 18, Layla? 2. 2 minus 1. Oh my gosh, this one. Everybody's like, don't call me. That's too difficult. Garrett, 2 minus 1 is? 1. 1. Sorry, Garrett. I knew it had to be you. I know. That one was so hard. Yeah, that one gave me a hard time. I saw him. He had his shoes off and he was counting his toes and it was horrible. Now we're on 9 plus 18 times 4 divided by 12 minus 3. I like that one. So let's look at Jonah. What is my first step in this problem? And 18 times 4 is what, Jonah? 
72. We're still inside the parentheses there. 72 divided by 12 minus 3, 9 plus. Thank you, Jonah. This is still there. Oh, Juliet, my next step. And that is? Say again. Six. six. So six, and we have nine plus six minus three. See, when we do it the funnel method, we always know where we're at. Mr. McMurrow is going to ask. Uh, Grace is no longer with us. Hey, Juliet, what do we do next? And Juliet, what is nine plus six? Fifteen. We subtract three. Jacob, what do we do next? Uh, 15 minus 3. Which is? 12. 12. Which is the answer to what the question asked on the test. Which one of these expressions gives us an answer of 12? But you can't be so lazy that you don't work it out. That's kind of my point here. We can't be so lazy that we don't work it out. But let's work the last one. Layla, this problem, what do I do first? 9 times 4. And Layla, what is 9 times 4? 36. Minus 3. Go there. Bree, what is next? Um, 36 plus 12. And what is 36 plus 12, Bree? Good old fashioned funnel method there helping us. Dallin, what's next? 48 divided by 3. Oh, you guys are so smart. And 48 divided by 3 is? 16. 16. And then 18, subtract 16. Garrett's like, please don't call on me. Please don't call on me. Jonah, what is 18 subtract 16? Um, 2. 2. Oh, that almost made me crazy. 2. So the point of this, yes, it's a lot of work, but it's going to help you get the question right, and getting questions right is why we're here. I'm just saying, getting questions right is why we're here, because y'all know how to do it. But if you, a lot of times, if you're not doing that funnel method, you're going to get all cattywampus, you're going to forget where you're at. You're going to forget what you've already done. If you made a mistake, I can't help you because I can't find out where you made your mistake. So I'm just saying. I'm getting papers with no work shown. When I, when I don't see work and you miss a problem, you know what it is. Shot to the heart! And you're to blame. You give math a bad name. <laughs>